Thermosets and thermoplastics are two of the most popular plastic polymers used in product manufacturing, offering unique features and advantages. Understanding the differences will help you choose the right material for your project. Hello, I'm Sam from RapidDirect. In this video, we will explore the various differences between thermosets and thermoplastics with real-world applications that can help you choose them better. To begin with, let's take a look at thermoset and thermoplastics, respectively. Thermoset or thermosetting plastics are plastic polymers that can withstand high temperature without changing shape. They have stable chemical bonds that can make them rigid and strong, preventing them from melting when heated. Common examples of thermosets are polyurethanes, fiberglass, epoxy resin, vulcanized rubber, backlit, and vinyl ester resin. On the other hand, thermoplastics have intermolecular forces that we can easily break down with sufficient energy. This polymer will melt at high temperatures and can also cool down to regain its solid form. This explains why we can easily reshape thermoplastics to whatever we want. Some common examples of thermoplastics are polyethylene, polyvinyl, linon, teflon, polystyrene, and acrylic. Next, let's examine the differences between thermoplastics and thermosets. The main difference between thermoset and thermoplastic lies in their behavior when heated. Thermoplastics have melting points that are lower than their degradation temperatures. On the other hand, thermosets have higher melting points than degradation temperatures. Therefore, we can easily heat thermoplastics and form them into our desired shape. When heated, they become soft and eventually turn fluid, allowing the remolding of the material. However, when you form a product from a thermoset, you will not be able to remold it or change its shape. When heated, monomers within the thermosetting plastic material will combine to form permanent chemical bonds. This bond prevents it from returning to its original state even when subjected to very high temperatures. This difference makes thermosets more preferred for applications where the component will be subjected to heat. Some of these applications include holdings of electrical components or appliances and chemical processing equipment. Likewise, this property also explains why we can recycle thermoplastics and remold them for new purposes. Although thermoplastic polymers are strong, their bonds are weak. So we can basically reuse them indefinitely, making them highly recyclable compared to thermosets. This is why we frequently use thermoplastics to create components like insulators, pipes, adhesives, etc. because these products can be recycled and turned into new parts. It is also important to compare the corrosion resistance of these plastic materials before you choose one for your project, especially if your component will be exposed to chemical or harmful atmospheric conditions. Thermoplastics are generally more resistant to rusting and chemical attacks than thermosets. Their ability to resist corrosive environments and materials make thermoplastics the more favorable option for piping systems in modern cities. They are even better alternatives to steel piping systems which are usually more vulnerable to corrosion. Polyvinyl chloride and chlorinated polyvinyl chloride are most commonly used for these applications. Polyethylene gas tanks are also more preferred for transporting gas for residential and commercial use. If your components are intended for electrical appliances and automotive applications, then you need to consider durability and heat resistance. As I mentioned earlier, thermosets have a high level of cross-linking due to the stronger molecular bonds, so they are rigid and strong. If your project requires athletic components, you may want to go for thermoplastics. Thermoplastics are superior to thermosets when it comes to aesthetic finishes. These polymers are more receptive to surface finishing and open to a wide range of finishing materials and methods. Therefore, thermoplastics are the ideal choice for products where you need to apply marks, logos, or decorations. This property makes them versatile for consumer products like food and beverage packaging. Moreover, you should note that thermosets also give aesthetically pleasing products as a result of in-mold painting or coating. So they are also great for applications that need to withstand extreme conditions. With both being valuable plastic polymers, it may make it difficult to decide which one to choose between thermoplastics and thermosets. Although they are both excellent options for your project, your choice will depend on the applications of the desired end products. 
Thermosets are more suitable for applications that expose the material to high temperature conditions because of their unique ability to retain structural integrity. This ability also makes them well suited for large, solid, permanent components. However, thermoplastics are more suitable for corrosion and chemical resistant products. This makes them ideal for piping systems, fittings, and protective coverings. The aesthetically pleasing nature of thermoplastics also make them ideal for consumer products requiring logos and decorations. Before choosing the plastic polymer for your application, it is crucial to examine the properties as I have explained in the earlier parts of this video. If you still find it challenging to choose between these polymers for your plastic parts, let RapidRed assist you. Our expert technicians can help you choose the best materials for your products to give you the optimum results. Contact us today for professional manufacturing services and expert guidance. As we are coming to an end of this video, I am pretty sure that you now have a better understanding of the differences between thermosets and thermoplastics. Don't forget to check our other videos to get an in-depth knowledge of manufacturing processes and materials. Kindly give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications for more videos like this. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.